One of the natural wonders of the world that our region is famous for is giving viewers a spectacular show these days. As Carla Schinkerick found out, the free exhibition of lights is heading into a significant natural performance cycle. They kept breaking into applause every time it peaked. As someone who's been shooting the sky for decades, Tim Jaworski remembers that moment where he witnessed a group of tourists experiencing the northern lights for the first time. I was out east of Saskatoon about 20 minutes one night, and at the other side of this little pond, there was a carload of about a half dozen people. I couldn't understand what they're saying. That sheer joy those tourists were experiencing made Jaworski stop and pause, put his camera down, and enjoy the show. This is an exciting time for him and others who are enthusiasts of the Aurora Borealis as the sun heads into an 11 year cycle creating perfect conditions. We're going into what's known as solar maximum where the sun has gone from very little activity going to a lot of activity. The Saskatchewan Aurora Hunters Facebook page was created seven years ago and over the years with 40,000 followers interest is going skyward. Kind of created a monster in a way because now everyone's doing it. In recent years monstrous images of the Aurora Borealis have surfaced partly due to social media but also because gone are the days where you need to set up a fancy camera to capture it. Everyone's walking around with smartphones and we've seen such an increase of the quality of images of smartphones. You can get some amazing images. Aurora Borealis tourism is also a thing. People traveling from point south to catch a glimpse of the dancing lights and those we spoke to say there's a common question that comes out. Oh, people want to know a specific location. Where is it? Well, it doesn't matter. Just go down the road safely, pull off a, on a grid road, sit there, turn your lights off. He says there are apps that are designed to predict when and where the northern lights are visible on given days, but like the weather, predicting them isn't Look always the exact. Look at the sky, and it's free. The free show is expected to extend to 2025. Carla Schenker, CTV News, Saskatoon.